Hey guys, what's up, Zyflin here, and today we're going to be taking a look at the new fan melee weapon called the Gunson. I like them. They're okay, they're cool, but they're not the best melee weapons in the game. That goes without saying, because like most people nowadays just use like a Zaw or the Atarax or some form of whip to just like, you know, do slide attacks with maiming strikes and kill literally everything in the, uh, in the, you know, general area of the player. So, um, the Gunshin are more, or the Gunsin, sorry, they're more of a like single target, kill a guy pretty fast, and you build them for hybrid. Like, you don't build them for crit, you don't build them for pure status, you build them for more of a hybrid, and the weapon performs just fine. A lot of people really hate the stance of this weapon called Slicing Fevers, but personally, I find it okay. It's a lot better when you use it with something like Vault or Valkyr, where you're, um, able to kind of up your attack speed right so getting as much attack speed on this weapon as possible is kind of ideal because i mean it just helps out a lot because you're skipping like uh, a little animation that the weapon has which basically like fevers the warframe right so if you do just your basic attacks at the end of your combo you're gonna like fever your warframe and that doesn't count as an attack like you're not dealing any damage to the enemy there so that happens in a few of the combos but the one i use the most is the uh the blocking combo because it's just the easiest to pull off and it just seems to work you know so especially whenever you have this combo sped up it's probably my favorite combo uh with the entire stunts which makes this weapon just in my opinion a lot better uh or you know better to use so that's the core tech. okay let's go back to the gunson so explaining the build we have prime pressure point on here for our melee, melee damage of course then we have berserker on here for our attack speed blood rush to give ourselves uh, or to give ourselves i'm sorry guys i literally just got out of bed so that's why i sound like this and that's why i'm messing up my words but we have um blood rush on here to you know up our crit chance so berserker makes a lot of sense to have on because then we're gonna have crit chance and you know, it just makes sense. Alongside that, we have Organ Shatter on here. So we have that 90% extra crit damage. So our numbers are going to be bigger. Drifting Contact to keep our combo up. Condition Overload. So we get a multiplicative increase to your damage whenever we apply status effects. And then we can even run the 90% uh, elemental mods. So that being Fever Strike and uh, Shocking Touch. Or you can run the dual stat elementals being Violent Scourge and Voltaic Strike. And then that way you're getting your Crucive Damage. Uh, with these two mods, you're getting yourself up to a 72.8% status chance, which is pretty nice. And then with Shocking Touch and Fever Strike, if we go ahead and throw both of those on, uh, you have a 56% status chance. So it's down to you which one you think... Uh, wait, wait, hold on, that's not right. So I just put on Violent Scourge there. So if we go ahead and throw on Shocking Touch, you have a... 39.2% status chance, so if you feel like that's alright for you and you'd rather just run, you know, the dual stat elementals uh, to get the higher status chance so you can get the increase of damage from condition overload, if you want to do that, more power to you, or if you want to get the higher numbers with, uh, you know, the 90% elemental mods and get those high crit numbers, then again, more power to you as well, but in my opinion, Violent Scourge and uh, Voltaic Strike probably a better bet in terms of burst dps and maybe even just a stand dps so it just makes a lot more sense so let's read for the stats of the weapon actually we have um channeling cost of five channeling damage of 1.5 times crit chance of 16 percent crit multiplier 3.8 times which is pretty decent leap attack of 583 uh we have magazine not too sure why we have magazine it's kind of weird does this have like a, a throwing a throwing i don't know that, that's weird why do we have a magazine stat? Uh, Riven Disposition of 3, Spin Attack 622, Status 72.8%, Wall Attack 1.166, uh, Impact is 10.6, Puncture 15.8, and Slash is 105.6, and then your Corrosive is 158.4, and that's with all the mods on. If you look at it with no mods on, we can see that uh, we only have 28% status chance, we have crit chance 16%, critical multiplier of 2, leap attacks 100, uh, spin attack is 107, wall attacks 200, impacts 4, puncture is 6, and slash is 40. So, I mean, in my opinion, it's a pretty cool weapon. It's not the best in the game, like I mentioned beforehand, and it works best if you're using a frame which allows you to up your attack speed, because, I mean, that way you're just going to be dealing more damage, but it does shred free enemy armor. Uh, because of the high status chance and because you're shredding for enemy armor, you're applying all these different status effects and uh, having condition, not condition, is it? Yeah, it's condition overload. Having condition overload on there will uh, greatly help your damage. So I just use the blocking combo, like I said before. 
and you keep on hitting the guy, you get your Berserker procs in there, and then you're dealing a buttload of damage super fast, and the enemies die super quick. So, you know, obviously you can get better results with a weapon like the Nakana Prime or something, because it has higher slash values, etc, etc, and then obviously if you go ahead and you speed yourself up with, like, Valkyr's Warcry, or Volt's Speed Ability, or any melee frame which really gives you an increase to your attack speed, you're going to increase the DPS of the guns, uh, the guns in tenfold, right? So it's worth using just like a, a, an all out melee frame if you're wanting to use these weapons. I wouldn't recommend using them as a quick melee weapon because you get that really bad thing at the end of the combo, and it just it's just kind of meh. If we take a look at the other combos, we have cutting fringe, which is like forward E E E. So that's also you know a combo, but what happens there is like they're they're not like bands are kind of just like little dagger things at that point and I don't know I just think this this combo is kind of weird and you do a lot of the shaky things and stuff and not that good move on to the other melee combos we have a little pause so if we go E and then E E E like that it's just again it's not a good combo just stick to using the blocking combo and I think that you'd be good uh like everything else is just kind of kind of meh so that's pretty much it for the Gunson. If you guys enjoyed this video, go ahead, hit like. If you want to see more Warframe content from me, hit subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.